All right, so today we're, I'm currently cutting corn stalks. We're using a John Deere 946 Moco mower. Got metal roller conditioners. And as you can see that. Just gonna check the bearings quickly, make sure none of them are hot and that the bolts on the top of the turtles the spacer and the bolt are still in there because we lost one on actually this one and the thing turtle was just sitting there loose but it didn't come off which was lucky yeah that feel good knives are not in hay cutting condition but for coin stocks that's no worry because you change them, it's just a waste of clay, really. So we got the mower on the 9540. It's not really big enough, but our track, uh, the Ford is hauling the excavator. Uh, what's the Portera is leveling, and the, the Valtra is hauling gravel at my uncle's place, and they're not available. Those would be the ideal range for this mower. But it's not doing any bad. We got it set up nice and high, so it's alright. It struggles in places. It knows it's there. Oh. This is what it turns out like. Oh, like after. I can see it doesn't really leave a row because it can't get all of it, but we're just cutting the stalks off because the header that was used doesn't. Cut them out. This is it. Before it's cut, this is laid down so it's not cutting the best. And I've done all across there so far. And I've got that left. So hopefully I'll get it done by the end of the day. Okay, so just just check the bearings and the knives again. All is good. Um, basically done the biggest bit that was uh, left. Got a little bit more, but getting there. Yeah, it's it's not cutting it the best. There's some stalks that just kind of slide under, so they were lied down. But uh, my dad and granddad are currently bailing and raking over there, the first bit I did. That was just a bit of corn stuck in the front of my uh, front axle U joint. Yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah. Fan fell on the ground while I was recording. Okay. So this mower takes a bit too much power when the start up. Not, not the happiest camper on the startup, but it's alright. Alright, so I'm gonna carry on and see when we get started. Don't know if you can see out the window, but currently it's snowing and it's October 18th. It's not the weather that should be here right now. Take it back, please. You can see them that well. This is on my phone. Got Granddad with the Proxima raking up, and Dad is over there with uh, Forterra and the McHale. He's bailing. We've got 400 plus bales so far. Oh, hopefully they should be done by dark, and then yeah, see here's the bales that it's making. Get it there. Hey, you see they're nice and tight. They're not being chopped because we're... The moisture levels were all over the place. But we're gonna attempt it. If they start heating, we will wrap them right away. And we'll just keep an eye on them. But... You see the... The rake cleans them up pretty good compared to what it was. It's not gonna do... 100% because the fields, because of the way it's all done, is ridged, so they don't have a nice surface to rake off of. And their corn stalks are just. This is my truck, just an 08 F 150 XL. So you just passed over 300 kilometers today, or 300,000 kilometers, which isn't, you know, highest in the world, but it's pretty good. For just being an old, just for being a farm truck. Got the fuel bowser in the back and just filled uh, the rake up and the bale is good. Yeah. Alright, so we're all in bales now. It's currently snowing as you can see. Wait. But it's not too bad. It's, it's just a bit of light stuff, not really frosty snow at all. I ended up getting 555 bales on the field. I think we're having about 200. Yeah, a guy who owns a field is having 200. Sorry about that. Wind's probably in the mic. And one of our mates are having 100 as well. So that should even it out for whatever it is. Uh, just drop the trailer now. Go. It's only about zero degrees right now. But it's the wind that's making it, um, making it snow. It's not really a proper snow, that's why it's kind of just turning to water right away. It's basically rain, but still covering the ground, which is well, alright. Alright, so I got the trailer loaded. 
One thing about the snow that's awesome is it makes everything look very clean. Everything does a good picture. So ready to head back? Maybe do not. Okay, so I'm in the Proxima right now. Uh, the Forterra, or my dad has the Forterra. He's out uh, custom threading with it, and this is the only loader tractor, other loader tractor. So, I'm going to do it with this one. Should be able to pull it off the field. We've got the same trailer on. It did snow a lot, and it's quite slippery, but it doesn't seem too bad now. Yesterday was horrible. Still gonna have to be careful because this trailer is heavy and again putting no weight on the tractor because of the dolly system on it. See here, it's got a nice patch, basically no traction. Gonna take it nice and slow when I got the load on. That's what's left in the field. I've got 50 volts so far. We're having two fish. Alright, so she's all loaded up. Tell she's uh, a bit smaller looking than the Fort Terra on this load, but I think she'll pull it. Just getting started after that will be fine. Okay, so we got her in four wheel drive. She's ready to go. Just gonna put her in one and see if she pulls. If not, I'll put it in low range, but we'll see. There we go. Nothing to it, pulls it like a beast. Every time you shift, it does pull up a bit, but it it's, it moves it. It's not as bad it was, it's just a bit soft. Yesterday, it was kind of, the snow was thick and icy. It's melted off a bit since then. So, it's a lot easier to pull. I think we've got 26 on a load. And they haven't started heating yet, so we're hoping they don't, it's going to stay like that. Yeah, so this field is only um, well, about not even really two miles away from the, from the farm. Just, I don't know, probably can't see that, but that bush along there, and there's a little yard. That is half of that bush is actually ours, and then the, along there isn't, but the other side of the bush is the main farm. That's the that, three mile, and then we live on the so the main farm's on the two. Yeah. Try to shift again. I got into three, I was kind of, I couldn't hold the, the camera at the same time while shifting, I kept missing it. Yeah, cruising along now, it's pulling it good. So we'll just go steady on the road, not rush it. Alright, so I've got the last load on for today. Um, so I pulled 100 today, and 50 the other day, where I'm 250 in total, so... Well, I think it's just a few more than that, but there's a hundred left out in the field. And so it should be able to be hauled by tomorrow, and then we should be done with corn stalks. Uh, 
pretty good. The bell yard's getting a bit full, kind of running out of room. I'm not exactly sure where the rest are going to go. I have to, they should be able to sneak in somewhere, though. I'll have to work it out. So apparently we've got a turkey farm here. I guess they uh, found the corn inside the, uh, the bales in this good bit. Just getting taken out of them.